Alright guys, so I did some of the staining, I like the way it's coming out, but it's still a little too dark now, but that was just about to, you know, try to get in the crevices, so we're going to do some dry brushing, so we're going to go back to the soft body, soft white, and we'll start doing some dry brushing around there. Now, uh, on some of the areas too, uh, we got some staining water stains, which is pretty cool, but I really don't want to go too crazy with the water stains, so I'm going to tone all that stuff down as well, so uh, now it's just a matter of uh, dry brushing it out. Okay, so uh, I like the where it's going, still want to lighten it up a little bit, but I want to add some more shades, so I'm going to hit this light tan on some of these areas a bit a little bit more. Uh, we're going to probably hit it with some white, but the only problem with the white though is it's going to be very bright, so i got to really make sure it's more dry brushing than anything. So what I have to do is I have to let this sit probably for a day and then come back to it because... Right now it's still a little bit tacky, but not much, but I don't want to try to rub anything off and I'm pulling up paint until I'm rubbing. So, just got to play with it a little bit. Alright, got a little bit more shades here and there. I guess we'll hit some more areas over here. We're giving this stuff some darkness. Kind of looks cool. And let's bring some down on the bottom. And this little ring here I'm going to hit too, because when I do some dry brushing, I'm going to try to bring that out a little bit as well. So, let's try to... Give it some stains a little bit. He licked my finger and pulled some of it off. And like I say, sometimes accidents uh, can work out for the benefit. So since uh, you know these little things here and there look kind of cool, adds a little bit extra to it. And get a little bit of darkness on the bottom some more. Alright, so what I might do now is I think uh, I might start hitting it with uh, the blow dryer for a little bit. Maybe then we'll come back just to kind of, because it's a little bit tacky with this paint. I also might hit it with some dull coat too, but once I dry it up a little bit. But we're getting there, getting to the color I like. It's just a little bit too dark, but we're going to hit it with some white and bring it out a little bit more. Okay guys, we're going to do some dry brushing of white. We want to just bring out some uh, areas here and there, give some worn look, and then we might do some misting of some uh, speckling white too. But for right now, we're going to just do some dry brushing. I like to use Createx uh, white. I don't know why. It's just a habit of, for some odd reason, when I do dry brushing, I just like it. So uh, what I'm going to just pretty much do is just start dry brushing this. We'll go back, we'll hit it with the airbrush, and just keep going. It's just a matter of 
building it up and get it to where I want it. Alright guys, so as you saw I did my dry brushing with the white Createx. Uh, it's still very wet, I just brought it from the desk over into the airbrush booth just to show you guys what's going on. So, I was going to do some speckling on it with some white, but actually I'm happy where it is. I'm at, this is like what I had envisioned when I first sculpted this, you know, custom base. And then all the pictures I'm looking online, this is where I wanted it to be. I don't want to push my luck and try to overdo it with white. And I didn't really want to tone it down too much with white, but I don't really want it dark. So I kind of want that old school, little bit weathered look of pillars, you know, in a bright sunny day type thing. So there's a lot of stuff I'm looking at. And it's going to be a good uh, difference because she's mostly a white and black figure. And this is kind of like got that life color skin tone almost to it. So it's kind of like, you know, the base is alive and she's dead. So um, as you saw, I was just doing dry brush and just, you know... Bringing out edges, corners, top, little granite, you know, the little grains of the sand I sculpted. The bottom here, you know, even like I said, I had a couple mistakes here when I uh, did it with the airbrush. But it worked out to my benefit because hitting it with a dry brush, it actually gives me some cool little, like, you know, stain look. So, that's cool and that's fun. And that's why I always say, don't overthink your stuff. Have fun with it. Because, you know, some, because I, like, I actually got taught in art school, sometimes mistakes can work out to your benefit, and in this case it did, and I'm really happy with it. So, this is where I want it, I'm happy with it, and so the next step is let this dry for a day or so. I really want the paint to cure before I start doing anything else to it, because it's still damp outside because it's raining, and in the studio, you know, whenever you get some dampness and you're painting, you know, you don't want to push your luck with some stuff. Uh, because if I try to try to mask all this stuff off, and because it's still kind of curing, I can hit it with my fingernail and I can actually chip some paint and, you know, kind of, you know, even the Silly Putty could kind of pull up some paint. I don't want to do all that, especially with Silly Putty getting stuck in the sand. I want to let everything cure. So, I'm going to let this dry for a day or so. Then I'll hit it with some Tester's Dull Coat to really give it a nice coat. Um, I actually might hit it with uh, some of the Duplicolor Clear Coat, too. I don't know. Um... Or I might just kind of dull it out. I'm not sure yet. I'm just going to let this sit and come back to it when I'm ready to start working on it again. But, you know, hopefully you guys give you guys some ideas of where we're going. So, uh, alright, we'll be back in a couple days. Alright guys, so it's uh, been a day or so and I masked off the base. And uh, I did a base coat of Aged Bone from Garage Kit Colors. Um, going to, you know kind of liven up the skulls a little bit. I'm not going to make them like they've been there for years, um, but I'm not going to make them look like they've been, you know, recently just killed. It's going to kind of be like a little bit of like a flesh look into them. Brighten up, I'll give them a little bit more life because what I'm going to do is inside the crack and stuff, I'm going to do a pearlized green in the eyes because it's simulating that she killed Green Lantern. So I kind of want to make it like Maybe, you know, the Green Lantern's powers are kind of fading out, but it's kind of inside the skull type thing. I know that's probably not true, but I'm having fun with it. It's just kind of like my vision, and I'm just rolling with it. But I masked it off with my Silly Putty going around here, and then I use Saran Wrap. Now, you got to make sure, though, whenever you do masking like this, you want to make sure every piece is masked off. So, if you wrap one piece of the... Uh, saran wrap here and one over here you got to make sure you're still hitting it so if you have to you you know wrap around wrap around but you never really want to go taunt with the stuff and really tighten it you just kind of want to wrap it around and let it fall because you know if your paint's not cured or you know sometimes uh, saran wrap can pull like tacky paints off or if it's like a clear coat paint but since I let this dry and it is really a lot of coat to dull coat and stuff and it's pretty much secure so I'm good so uh, we're going to focus on the skulls, going to do uh, probably dry brushing with air brushing, dry brushing, air brushing, kind of building it all up and going there. So um, once I figure out my next step, we'll just start plugging away. Now I don't have any specific colors, I'm just going to grab a bunch of different paints and I'll just uh, start working on it. 